I'm going to start by saying I've uh, been a fan of your work for a very long time. It's great to talk to you. Thank you. Um, uh, I have to I, listen. I'm, I'm here to talk about morning show, but sure. I loved leftovers. Thank you. Loved. And uh, so I have to ask you: Have you ever said what you think happened in the finale of the leftovers? Like your personal take, or is it? Have you kept that close to your vest? I don't think I've ever said it out loud. So I'll ask you: Do you think she went through? <laughs> this is what I think. I think that people have belief systems, and I think that. Um, she believes she went through because I think we all need stories to tell ourselves to get through this life. You know, we tell ourselves stories so that we can survive. And so do I think she went through? No. Okay. I, I want to commend you for your work on that show and Damon Lindelof. It's so phenomenal. Um, Thank you. It was one of the greatest experiences of my life and it was life changing. Uh, now I get to jump into why I get to talk to you today. I thought your work in the first two episodes were fantastic. Thank you. Cannot wait to watch episode three. Um, and you also, I believe, directed the finale. I did. So my, my question for you is, what is it like making a show that has the two-season pickup? Well, <clears throat> that's really interesting. Um, you know, I never really think about that at all. I, I, I don't like to, it, it, you know, if you thought about, hey, I'm going to do two seasons of this, Many things would cross your mind. One is the pressure of it. You know, will people like it? Uh, am I doing a good job? Are we telling the story the way it needs to be told? And thirdly, like, oh my God, this is way too hard <laughs> to do again. You know, it was a very difficult show to mount. And, um, but there's so much more story to tell. So I'm really excited about two seasons. Uh, one of the things that, uh the, the making of the first season of any show, you're kind of figuring out the infrastructure of how to make it. What you can do in your shooting schedule, what you can accomplish with your scripts. What did you learn at the beginning? What did you sort of learn as the season was going on about the making of the morning show? Well, exactly that. You know, you really learn how many days you need to shoot it. You really learn um, how you know far you can exhaust um, a scene and how long um, you know, you, you learn like what is the short, um, what is the, you know, visual language of a story, uh, of how you're trying to tell this story. What is that, what are you trying to define visually and how best can you do it within the hours you have to do it in without sacrificing anything, you know, because sometimes you have to shoot something a certain way. You want to shoot it this way, but no, you have to shoot it this way. And sometimes shooting it that way is so much better than what you originally thought because of time constraints, because of, for multiple reasons. And so the lesson is, as a filmmaker, is always to keep your mind open and always keep your heart open and plan, 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 and then be ready for anything. Sure. Um, I have one last thing sure. before, right before I run out of time. I'm, I'm obsessed with the editing room because Yes. Uh, because that's ultimately the final rewrite where it all comes together. How did these episodes possibly change in the editing room? And is this the kind of show that had a lot of deleted scenes or not at all? That's really interesting. Um, you know, this, you do make a, a show, a movie. You, you do tell a story three times. You write it and then you direct it and shoot it and then you recreate it in the editing room. I feel the structure of this show was so well written. There were very few structural changes we made. We omitted scenes. And what's really interesting, and I'm very proud of, is we never went back for reshoots and never reshot anything, not even an insert. So editorially, of course, it's a process. And you massage and you massage and, you know, you get it to the best place it can be. And sometimes you think, oh my God, this scene is the worst. It's just not working, it's horrible. And then all of a sudden it becomes the most favorite, best scene you've ever done, just because you've had the time to manipulate it. Completely. And find it. And that's what's beautiful about editing. And we had some beautiful editors on our show, starting with Carol Kravitz, who did the pilot and episode two and the finale with me, and Aleshka Ferrero, and really extraordinary editors, like really artists. So it was great.